There is Quintana, and in fact he stretched his legs, and Quintana's gone, he's decided to take it! This man, Quintana, well, he's been engaged apparently in all kinds of different races and all kinds of levels back home in preparation for this. And if you're wondering whether he would go for it, then wonder no more. And he's gone, there he's gone, or at least Pino has decided to uh, impose himself on this curb. Here we go, straight past. Look at the speed yeah. of Dumoulin, his pace is perfectly. So Tom de Milano has really opened it up. He says, come on, do some work. And Monomer says, I can't. Nero Quintana is going to take the lead of this race. And frankly, he looks like a king in waiting after a majestic performance. Pino is going to try and mug him at the line. And that's fine for Tom de Milano. He'll take the lead of this race, to my mind, in the time trial. But for a big man, de Milano has produced an amazing performance. Here's your stage results. Nero Quintana takes it by a margin of 24 seconds ahead of Pino and Tom Dumoulin. I think you'll see Tom Dumoulin in pink after the time trial after tomorrow. Here's your overall standings then. Nero Quintana, 28 seconds, as I said, in front of Thibaut Pino. Tom Dumoulin still keeps himself inside half a minute. Good ride from Balka Molina as well. He was on his limit when he was riding behind Tom Dumoulin, 51 seconds down. Vincenzo Nibli in fifth place, just over a minute down. 23rd place, oh my goodness, what's the gap going to be at 9.8 kilometres? Quintana wow, will take the minute. turn, it is going to be, where, here it comes, confirmation of it, 48 seconds, oh, and he's gone straight over, he bunny hopped Whoa. over that uh, piece of furniture, oh my goodness, there's the 34 minute flat mark, which is the best time for Geraint Thomas, and this is going to be smashed out of the park by Tom Dumoulin, Check it out, he's got a 36 second advantage, that's on Geraint Thomas, don't forget. It's a strong run by Nibri, a brave run as well for the man who uh, is defending champion, carries number one on his back. It's going to be a good result for him, top five, most definitely, on the day so far at least. Others quicker to come will push him down the order, but he'll take that. My goodness, Tom Dumoulin is out of the saddle and uh, he nearly caught his three minute man for goodness sake. Uh, almost overlaid him, it's going to be the first rider in underneath the 51 minute marker. Tom Dumoulin is driving for home, he's driving into the lead here. There's Geraint Thomas's time which was absolutely outstanding, but if you want outstanding, look no further. Tom Dumoulin takes the lead of this race, who's going to take it back from him? What time's he going to get? It's going to be in the 53s. But I'm afraid Tom de Milan has wrestled control of this race. Two minutes and 53 is the deficit. De Milan goes, de Milan's gonna pick this up. Here he is. This is about de Milan saying, listen, I'm not just a time trialist. I'm a man who can go on mountains as well. He goes, he punches, he's a big air block as well. He's offering up some aero and he's dragging back in Ponsabibo here, as well as Nibelu who's here for a free ride. Zacharin likewise mid distances. Guess who? Quintana goes for it. Red hot favourite for today. And this looks dramatic. Zacharin's trying to pick it up and leave uh, Dumoulin behind. Can't do so. Potsabimo's finished, I'm afraid. He's, he's had his time on this mountain right now. But this man looks like he owns it. Let's see what he can do in terms of stretching this advantage. It's back down to six seconds, but I think that clock's going to go the other way in a moment. No, Dumoulin responds. Fantastic performance by Tom Dumoulin. He's holding it at six seconds, and Quintana knows he can't shake him. Here we go, 1,800 metres to go, and the gap's nearly gone. Well, Tom Dumoulin, what a job he's doing. He's even managed to drop Adam Yates now, who's been sitting on the wheel. Coming back now is Tom Dumoulin. Now, who's he dragging in for the stage victory? Zacharin is there. Uh, Dumoulin, Get out the, the way. thing he's concerned about is this man. Um, oh, they're getting involved, I'm afraid, with the race. Get out of there, you idiots! Here comes uh, Dumoulin. Goodness me, and what's he up goes. to control? He does, he goes, and Zacharin goes with him. Dumoulin's going for this. He <laughs> wants to win up a mountain. He doesn't want to just be a time trialist. He wants to be a hero. He's got a lot to John as well. There goes Nibali. He's gone backwards. What a day. What a moment. Now, can Quintana get back on him? Come on, he says. Do a little bit of work. I can't do everything on my own. 10, 6, and 4 for the first three riders across the line. In fact, 
Here we Zacharin go. leading them in. Can Zacharin picks it Kintana's up. He goes dropped. Well. Kintana's dropped. This is space. Zacharin's going for it. This is bonus. He's up for grabs. Zacharin's going off. He's going to take the stage win, but look who he's guiding in here. It's Dumoulin. Dumoulin, king of this mountain. He slashed everybody down with it with a blade of his hand, and he might just come through to take the day. Oh, he's going to. Here he goes. Picks it up. Dumoulin has done it. King of the mountain. King of the hills. King of the time trial. And I think king in waiting of this Giro d'Italia. Wow, what about that? Incredible. That's going to be more than 10 seconds that he's put into Naira Quintana, who still hasn't crossed the line. 12 seconds. What a day it has been for Tom Dumoulin and the Dutch and Team Sunweb. Absolutely incredible. Advantage. Oh, oh Dumoulin stopped and he's going to do a bike change. He's going to do a bike change, I believe. And in fact, uh, what's he up to? He's stripping off here as well. He's taking off the pink jersey. Oh, he's got a bad stomach. He's gone. No, I'm afraid. Oh, no. That is Tom Dumoulin, who uh, I'm afraid is, uh, has gone for... Uh, well, he's got a bad stomach. Let's put it that way, shall we? He's had to strip off at the side of the road. And uh, the commissaires on the race radio as well will see what the response is from Quintana and the Quintana group. Well, uh, a brave man most certainly a gentleman for waiting up for Quintana but there's too much at stake for too many teams in front it's not a question of Quintana returning the favor there's others that want to push on here Dan and they've they've got a right to do so and it's Nibali that's called for it I said Nibali on it on Italy's day and why not but they themselves have still got to make up minute 42 43 now and they're starting to, to run on here and Nibali's gone he's gone he's decided to pick it up now can he eat into the gap Quintana tries to stay with him sails by the camera bike here this is Vicenzo bidding for a stage win and Quintana's going to try and stay with him watch the time gap to Lander start to come down Quintana comes up is he going to counter attack or is he just going to sit in well that's a huge attack and a huge effort from the Italian there's Lander uh, let's have a look at the time check for you it is about six seconds and in fact it re-engages re the, the gap is correct right now Lander is the hare followed by the hounds or maybe the shark here he is he's come on land and he is going for this that's Quintana he's leaving in his wake right now one curve coming in right now they've now oh next step they've got to take a right hander and then it's the left 250 meters to the line Nibali's still there Lander still is he going to get a stage victory today Nibali's sailing in is there an agreement not quite sure another curve oh Italy won the stage win and they're picking him up right now it's going to come after this curve it's the drive for the line and Nibali's got the tight line if it's Jento Nibali picks it up Nibali versus Lander Vincenzo he does it! Vincenzo Nibali has buried everybody out there! You give a shark a smell of blood and he will feast himself! But in my heart, and indeed that of many other neutrals, you're looking at King Tom at the moment. Tom Dumoulin crosses the line, two minutes and 18 down. Here we go, here's Adam Yates coming through, the young rider as well, he's also going to do some work. Uh, we've got Boca Molomer here, we've got uh, Kreisbike, and of course we've got the pink jersey of Tom Dumoulin. This is about putting out a fire right now. These guys are on their limit. I mean, this has been incredibly hard racing over the last 30 or 40 kilometers. Our breakaway, it's a very strong breakaway of t uh, 14 riders. They had a six minute advantage coming into around about 130 k's to go. That's been completely extinguished. Tom de Milan's actually turned on uh, the power 20. Here we yeah, are, it's finding time. They're about to make contact, aren't they? Yep. What's going to happen then? I mean, none of the GC riders are going to start attacking when they've still got so much in the way of flat riding to do. Here we go. There's the moment that Simon Geschke uh, said, that's enough. I've got nothing left in my body. That's a man who is at peace with himself at last. He spreads his wings like an eagle. He has soared up here. They're going for it, Molomer picks it up. Zacharin also uh, decides to go for it, Timo, uh, and Pozzavivo also joins the fun. The little guy in the brown uh, shots here, and he follows in from Zacharin. It's going to be minor places for them, but they're also going to take a move here. Just zigzagging around the little bits of debris, and he crosses the line now. Here we go, our clock starts uh, to begin. Eight minutes and ten it was uh, at the line here since the winner of the day stage lander. Uh, Potsamimo crosses the line just ahead of Zacharin, and here comes uh, everybody else at the moment. Tom de Milan, how much has he lost today? It's not enough, I don't think, to deny the title, but he'll be out of pink tonight. 
couldn't quite see who it was. Scott Let's have a look. Oh, Dumoulin's not happy. Dumoulin's not happy. Is it slipping away from him right now? The pace is absolutely punishing. Dumoulin struggling to stay on the wheel of Bob Jungles, the Luxembourg champion, who's found a bit of a gap over Adam Yates, who's further behind as well. Pops of Evo's in here. Quintana's in here. Z uh, we've got Nibali in here, but Zacharin has detonated uh, the field. We've got all the favourites together. The top five absolutely locking horns here. As how much is Nibali kept in the bank? Probably absolutely nothing. They're going into the red, both metaphorically and literally at the moment, I am sure. And there, as you can see, comes to Milan and Quintana has to respond and he goes for it. They're all at their limit. Just look at the facial expressions of Vincenzo Nibali. Doesn't give much away, but further behind. Oh, look, the tongue's wagging out of Thibaut Pino, but he's going. Pino goes, he's got the tongue now, licking the invisible ice cream. It's going to be a bigger prize than that, potentially. And he goes for this. Nibali goes in on his wheel. There goes Quintana as well, but they have not shaken Dumoulin and still he pushes on. Timo Pino, I think, will probably be the quickest of the riders as they come towards the line, but in fact, Pozzo Vivo is trying to steal a march on come the Come on, Pozzo, he gets in right now, the little guy with the big shoulders and the big mind. He goes for it, he picks it up. Timo Pino responds to it. Pozzo Vivo has got pop of a friend and here comes Zacharin. Zacharin, is he going to get back? Timo Pino, Pino going to get 10 second bonus here at the line. Oh, shout out to him. Great day it was. Zacharin in second place, what a finish. Everyone wanted Nibali to be there and he is. Here's Bob Jungles, here's Dumoulin as well. Dumoulin's absolutely spent. And Bob Jungles is gonna find some time here at the line over Gates who comes in just behind him. Oh, it looks like Dumoulin has held on here, professionally at least, I guess. He must think of himself in pink, even if he's not just now. It's not a great time, Carlton, is it? Oh, Quintana. Well, he can say bye-bye, I believe, to pick here. 33 seconds, he's already lost. He's still leading, but I'm afraid that it's ebbing away from him right now. Here's your virtual standings. Quintana then seeds it by two seconds just for now. Nibali, 25 seconds in arrears, and Pino, 53 seconds behind. Here he comes, we're waiting to welcome our champion, and Tom de Milan. Oh boy, does he deserve this, and he's still powering it in. He hasn't given up at all. He may not take the final day stage. He's got one of those in the bag already. Tom de Milan has done it. He has secured his first Grand Tour victory, and for my mind, it may well be the first of many. Jos van Emden has got his first ever victory in a stage of a Grand Tour. Look at this, everyone wants a piece of this man. It was too much pressure, I think, for him early on in this race. Didn't like it at all, he's a quiet man by nature. But he lets his legs do the talking, and today, they have spoken, but it's not a victory, I'm afraid. Nibali comes to the line, huge draw here. Here's Nero Quintana, and he's starting to realize it's mine, says Tom Dumoulin. And it's credit to the way Quintana has fought that it's so close. But Dumoulin is champion, it's declared to the crowd. They roar, but the Colombian fans rise as one as well. The hero of their nation, and in the hearts, solidly placed amongst many. But Quintana finishes Euro 100. One minute and 39 he gives away, and he sees the title. Go to the Netherlands. Jos van Emden takes the final day. It's Dutch one and two. The Netherlands one and two here for the stage 21, but Tom de Milan has had the bigger prize. Here's your final standings. Tom Dumoulin wins overall by a margin of 31 seconds. King Tom crowned at last. E lui, il vincitore della centesima edizione del Giro d'Italia, Tom Dumoulin.